Hi everyone, um, Miss Lawrence here. I hope you're all healthy and safe um, and staying inside. I've prepared a little adjective video for you today, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about adjectives. So what is an adjective? An adjective is a describing word. Adjectives describe nouns, giving the reader more detail about the noun. It just helps to make our writing a little bit more interesting. And just a recap, if you've forgotten, a noun is a person, place, or thing. So we're just able to describe a person, place, um, or things using adjectives. There are many ways that we can describe nouns. We can describe nouns by size, so a tall building, color, a red apple, the amount or how many of something, so five kittens, how something feels, the hot fire, how something sounds, a loud bang, how something looks, a pretty flower, how something tastes, so a sour lemon, the shape of something, so a round ball, how something smells, stinky trash, or how something behaves, like a kind girl. So I've just um, have posted a little poster there with some examples for you to have a look at. Then I've kind of gone through and I've tried to um, take all of those different ways that we can describe nouns and I've done some sentences with pictures to try and help you understand the different ways that we can describe nouns. So this one is size. So I can add an adjective or even two adjectives to my sentence to give my reader more detail about my tree, for example, here in the picture. So I've done the first sentence without an adjective in it. So a tree blew in the wind. It's not very interesting. It doesn't give me much detail about what the tree looks like. Um, then I put in, for with my adjective, I did a tall tree blew in the wind. So now we know it's not just any tree, it's a tall tree. The color, the flower grew toward the sun. Okay, again, it's not really giving us much detail about the flower. All we know is it's a flower. So then I've gone ahead and I've added in an adjective. So the pink flower grew towards the sun. So now um, that's helping my reader kind of visualize what the flower looks like. How many? The cats slept on the mat. Well, we don't know if it's two cats or 20 cats. So I've gone and put an adjective in my sentence. Two cats slept on a mat. How something feels. The frog sat on a leaf. We don't know if it's a soft frog or a bumpy frog, but I chose an adjective and I chose the slimy frog sat on a leaf. So I'm going to use a sound adjective. Next, the fireworks made a bang in the sky. Okay, so again, we know obviously the bang is probably going to be a loud bang if it's fireworks, but again, putting in that adjective just makes the sentence a little bit more interesting. The fireworks made a loud bang in the sky. Okay, so how something looks. At the end of the lane, there was a haunted house. Then when I've put my adjective in, again, it's a little bit more detail and you can kind of portray your feelings and, um, just help your reader kind of paint that picture in their mind while they're reading if you're using nice, interesting adjectives in your sentences. At the end of the lane, there was a scary haunted house. So taste, there was the tree, sorry, was full of lemons. Now that I've gone again and added my adjective in, the tree was full of sour lemons. Okay, and I've used a shape adjective. The basketball is very bouncy. My round basketball is very bouncy. Our rubbish bin is overflowing. Okay, and then I've used a smell adjective. So our stinky rubbish bin is overflowing. And behavior, the turtle walked across the grass. And again, I'm going to put an adjective into my sentence to try and add a little bit more detail and make it a little bit more interesting. The slow turtle walked across the grass. 
Okay, and just a reminder, when you're using adjectives, you can use one or even two adjectives in a sentence to spice up your writing and make your writing more interesting for your reader. So I've chosen two pictures that I've already um, used previously in my video. And I've tried to add two adjectives this time. So I've done an expanded noun phrase. The beautiful pink flower grew towards the shining sun. The two lazy cats slept on the mat. You can see, um, I've, again, with my adjectives, I in this time using two adjectives, I've added a little bit more detail and tried to make it a little bit more interesting for my reader. Now, why don't you look around your house and see how many objects you can describe using adjectives. Maybe try using one adjective and then maybe try using two adjectives. You could even go back through my video and look at all the pictures I've provided for you and try um, adding in a second adjective. Hey, I hope you're all staying home and staying um, safe. Thanks for watching um, and hopefully I'll get to see you soon. I miss you all loads and loads. Bye.